Like, it's the fact he's this sort of, you know, inoffensive, wholesome, married, ITV, mid-morning presenter. Right. And then he's bringing back literal teenagers to his flat to do, you know, I don't know. Like we don't, we still don't know really what he did or what age they were both. I mean, he was in his late 50s, I think, at this time. And the kid was like, we don't know what age. I'm sure it was legal. We have nothing to suggest that they did anything illegal, you know. But here's the thing, like, it's still kind of gross, right? His age, the lad's age. Like, it's weird enough that it's not conducive with his position as an ITV 10 a.m. presenter, right? Like, Friday night, 11 p.m. on Channel 4? Maybe. <laughs> but not ITV weekday mid-mornings, man. Come on, Phil. Like... Like the producer should have put, like pulled him aside a couple of years ago. Somebody should have tapped him on the shoulder and gone like, "Look, are you gonna are you gonna stop taking these boys back to your flat, Phil?" Uh, no, 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 no. It's it's legal, and it's my own personal life. It is nobody else's business. <laughs> right, but it's just that I mean, you know, you, you're a wholesome PG-rated TV presenter. You know, <laughs> aunties love you. You you just did a segment called, you know, which is this year's most hilarious lawn feed. You know, I, I, I don't understand. You, you're a daytime ITV caricature, Phil. You're telling retirees which other ITV shows they should watch. You couldn't get more PG rated if they animated you, Schofield. Right, okay. Unemployed people fall asleep to you. Yeah, yeah, okay. I, I, th I think I get your point. Nursing home cadavers, Phil, riddled with Alzheimer's, are still capable of following your monologues. Right, yes, all, all right, enough, I get it. You know, I'm, I'm boring, I'm beige, I'm too wholesome. Well, no, 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 not necessarily, Phil. I mean, you can, you can be raucous, you can. You can be in your 50s and fuck people 30 years younger than you. Of course you can. Look at Leonardo DiCaprio. All right, okay, well, so there's, there's no problem. But here's the thing, DiCaprio does rated 18 movies with Jack Nicholson and Tarantino. You don't do that. So you can either stop fucking the 18 year olds. Right. OK. Or or, or what, what, what? What's my other option? Because I, I don't I don't really want to. Or you could take a job at Channel 4, you know, late night Channel 4 shit. Get your dick out. Nobody cares. That is like rock star shit. That is, you know, big brother's little brother. It's a bit punk rock. It's that type of stuff, Phil. Or even, you know, Love Island. Like, is anybody cancelling Caroline Flack for banging an 18-year-old Harry Styles? You have to remember, this is, you know, probably before she cancelled herself. <laughs> is anyone up in arms about that? No, because Flack is a fucking legend. Flack is a watershed bombshell. She's raucous as fuck. So those are your options, Phil, all right? You've got to stop fucking the kids and you can remain here on the sofa... Or you can move to a show that is more, you know, aligned with your personal brand. <laughs> right, okay, well, I, I mean, I, I think I'll just stay if it's all the same. Right, okay, well, we tried. You know, I tried, guys. We tried. Maybe you'll get lucky, Phil, you know? Maybe the hugely not fickle and very understanding audiences of ITV will have matured a little bit since they completely fucked off Barrymore and your predecessor, John Leslie. By the way, if this shit comes out, everything will be fine, I'm sure. Why don't you roll the dice again, Schofield? See what happens. Well, yes, I'm, you know, I I think it'll be okay. It's my personal life. It's no one else's business. Just, just one more thing. Just please tell me there isn't a pool in this apartment. No, 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 there's, there's no pool. Oh, well, thank fucking Christ for that.